Question 13 of the 2018 Higher Physics Examination from Section 2. A student sets up an experiment to investigate the pressure due to a liquid as shown in the diagram. You have the meter uh, attached with a tube to a pressure sensor which is attached to another tube and then onto a glass tube which is immersed into the water. And when a glass tube goes into a certain depth into the liquid, in this case water, then the pressure sensor will register the change in pressure, the pressure, and it will be recorded on the meter. The pressure due to a liquid is given by the relationship P equals rho GH, and P is the pressure due to the liquid in pascals, PA. G is the gravitational field strength in newtons per kilogram. Rho is the density of the liquid in kilograms per meter cubed, and H is the depth of the liquid in meters. So for two marks, we're asked to calculate the pressure due to the water at a depth of 0 0.35 metres. So we start off with our equation we're given. The pressure P is equal to the density rho times G, gravitational field strength, times the depth in which you are in a liquid. So just substituting the numbers, pressure is going to be equal to the density, 1.00 times 10 to the power 3 multiplied by the gravitational field strength, which is 9.8, and then multiplied by the depth, which is 0 0.35 metres. We do that in my calculator, and we end up with the uh, answer of 3430 pascals. We can tidy it up a wee bit by putting it in standard form as 3.4 times 10 to the power 3 pascals. Two marks. Question 13, Part B. The student repeats the experiment with a different liquid. The pressure meter is set to zero before the glass tube is lowered into the liquid, and the student takes measurements of the pressure at various depths below the surface of the liquid. And the student records the following information in the table. Depth H, measured in metres, goes from 0 0.1 up to 0 0.5 metres. And the corresponding pressure, measured in kilopascals, goes from 1.2 to 6.2. And we assume that at depth 0, we're going to have a zero pressure as set by the student. Now, we're asked to draw a graph of this one. Now, when you're doing a graph, take your time, work out the scale first of all, and then plot the points and draw the best fitting line you can do. So, I've set up the graph paper as shown, and along this axis will be the depth in metres. So, I'll just put in here depth, and that'll be measured in metres. And up here will be the pressure, and that will be measured in kilopascals. So, K, P, A. And we'll have zero down at the bottom here in the graph. Now, all we have to do is plot the points. So, what's going to be the scale? We're going along the way, we're going from 0 0.1 to 0 0.5. So, uh, I would just bet you're making every 10 small boxes 0 0.1. So, that'll be 0 0.2. Uh, this will be 0 0.3. This will be 0 0.4. This will be 0 0.5. And you don't need to go to 0 0.6, but we'll put it in anyway for the sake of putting it in. So each little box in there, uh, each of those 10 boxes stand for 0 0.1. Now what about the y-axis, the pressure axis? We are going from 1.2 or 0 up to a maximum value of about 6.2. So you would need to say 7 to include the 6.2. So it would just say that every 10 boxes we make it 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, 4.0. Five point zero, six point zero, and we have to include that seven point zero in there to uh, include the six point two. So now we have our scales all set up. All we have to do now is plot the points. So zero point one and one point two. So zero point one, one point two will be two little boxes up there. So they'll be the first plotted point there. Move on to zero point two, and it'll be two point five. So 0 0.2, and that'll be 2.5, so there'll be a point there, like that. 0 0.3 and 3.6, so 0 0.3 and 3.6, so it'll be 3 here. 0 0.3, so 3 will be 3.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So that'll be that point in there like that. So we're getting a kind of linear relationship so far. 0 0.4 will be 4.9, so 0 0.4. Plot up to give you 4.9, which is just 1 below the 5, and that's your point there. And finally, 0 0.5 will be 6.2. So 0 0.5 will climb up there to 6.2, and that will be our point there. You can see we've got very much a straight line, and all we have to do is from the origin, draw that straight line, draw the best fitting straight line possible, and you can see that we continue on here. We're getting most of the points really close to uh, our line. So there is the straight line showing you that relationship. So it's a very famous relationship passing through the origin, and therefore that must mean that the pressure is directly proportional to the depth uh, in metres. Now, calculate the gradient of your graph. Well, we're going to choose two points, well separated. So we could choose, to make it easy for us, uh, point A would be 0, 0. So we could choose this point A here uh, to be 0, 0. So point A, we can call 0, 0. And our second point, point B, well, we can use the last entry into the, the, the table. It lies on the best fitting straight line. And that would be 0 0.5, so point B would be 0 0.5, and it would be 6.2. But remember, these are kilopascals, so you have to be very careful when you're working out the gradient. So how do you work out the gradient again? The gradient is going to be equal to the change in the y-coordinates divided by the change in the x-coordinates. So the change in the y-coordinates corresponds to a change in the pressure coordinates. So, all we have to do then is say M is going to equal to change in the Y coordinates, 6.2, take away 0. I'm going to put in 6.2 kilopascals this time, so as I remember that that's a kilopascal there. 6.2 kilopascals, take away 0, divided by the change in the X direction, 0 0.5, take away 0, so 0 0.5 uh, metres take away zero. So that's my gradients. M is going to be equal to 6.2 times 10 to the power 3 pascals divided by 0 0.5 meters. So we work out a gradient. The gradient M is going to be 12.4 times 10 to per 3 pascals and it's going to be per meter. So that's going to be the gradient of our graph. 12.4 times 10 to per 3 pascals per meter. Part 3. Determine the density of this liquid. Well, we've just worked out from the previous question that the gradient of that graph we worked out, the gradient was equal to 12.4 times 10 to the power 3 and the units for pascals per metre. Now let's take a look at the equation we had. We had pressure is equal to density rho, g and h. Now remember pressure was on the y-axis and of course we had the height was on the x-axis. So that's really the equation of a straight line through the origin, y equals mx. So you can see then that the gradient will be found by the product density times g. So to work out then the density of that liquid, the density would be equal to the gradient which we worked out from the graph, divided by the value of g. So let's put the numbers in then. The gradient was 12.4 times 10 to the power 3 pascals uh, per meter. And we divided that by g, which is going to be 9.8, and we'll use that newton per kilogram. So we do that in our calculator. We end up with a four-figure 1265 and the units for density in this case will be kilograms and it will be metres per cubed, metres cubed. 
We can tidy it up a wee bit and say it's one, two, three. It's one point say two seven times ten to the three. One, two, three times ten to the power three kilogram meter minus cubed. End of exam.